How do sun's rays reflect off of the Earth by Bryce Russell? Sun's rays that travel towards the Earth. The sun releases many wavelengths of solar energy towards the Earth, allowing us to live our lives the way we do today, and how we have lived our lives as humans since we've been living on this Earth. These rays are either reflected off of the Earth or absorbed into the Earth. The rays that are reflected off the Earth travel in very specific manners due to the way the Earth is shaped, where the solar rays reflect away, also known as a convex mirror. Sun's rays that reflect off the Earth. This is known as albedo, or a measure of how reflective a surface is. The sun's light rays reflect off the Earth in many different angles, based off of the angle at which the rays travel towards the Earth, due to the spherical shape. When you have a very bright surface, such as white snow, the rays will reflect, reflect off much more noticeably. Compared to a dark surface, such as the paved road, the sun rays will be absorbed into the Earth and not reflect off in any way. An example of this is shown in shirts. When it is very hot out, the best color to wear is white, so sunlight isn't absorbed to make you hotter, and vice versa. Notice how in the pictures you can see the sunlight reflecting off of the snow, but when in the blacktop, you can't see any reflecting off due to the surface color. So here is an example of the uh, light reflecting off of the Earth. So you have sunlight that travels towards the Earth parallel, and then as it, it reflects away as if it's traveling through the focus or halfway to the center of the Earth. Then you have light that travels towards the focus, halfway to the center of the Earth, and then bounces off parallel. And then you have rays that travel straight through the center of the Earth, but because of the way the Earth is shaped, they don't travel through the Earth, but they stop at the atmosphere of the outside of the Earth, and then they continuously bounce back and forth. So here are some interesting topics in sun rays reflecting off of the Earth. So we have light scattering particles throughout the atmosphere. Throughout Earth's atmosphere, there are many particles that scatter the light coming from the sun. These particles are tiny water droplets and dust particles. They make the sky look different colors based off of the wavelength of the light being scattered. For example, short wavelengths make the sky appear blue, which it normally does, and direct sunlight makes it appear yellowish. And even reddish when the sun is very low. So another interesting topic is light reflecting off of the moon into the earth. So when all of the sun's light is reflected away from the earth towards the side of the moon facing the earth, which cannot be seen, is known as a new moon. Earth shine is the technical term of it, when the dark face of the moon catches the earth's reflected glow. These can occur throughout the year but can be best seen in between April and June. So then we have the ozone layer and how that affects light that is reflected and light that is absorbed. So the ozone layer is a layer in the Earth's atmosphere that absorbs almost all of the UV radiation from the sun's rays. However, this layer has been, was being depleted for quite some time because of the humans causing much more UV rays to directly reach Earth and be absorbed into the Earth, gradually increasing the natural temperature of the Earth. Thankfully, the layer is healing, hopefully decreasing the risk of global warming. And the final topic is global warming. One of the biggest problems, if not the biggest, this world faces right now is global warming. This is caused by rays of light from the sun warming the earth continuously after being trapped in the atmosphere. Another big factor are greenhouse gases, which are released by humans and human activity, which have been rising, raising the average temperature of the earth. Many people are trying to fix this problem with many solutions, and if people participate, and it will eventually help save our planet. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the presentation.